Good morning, everyone. My name is Christopher Chase Edmonds with NOLA.com. I'm here at the running of the Bulls in New Orleans. We have about 30 seconds until the Bulls are released. So we are moving. I've got my, I've got my white on, a little bit of red on. It is a sea of white and red here. This is the uh, running of the Bulls. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, they're not real Bulls that are running through the streets of New Orleans. They are roller derby girls armed with plastic bats. Still not looking to get bludgeoned today. So, I'm gonna run this. And I want you guys to stick along with me. So if you could, please get in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And I'm gonna try my best to stay safe. Once again, guys, for those of you that are just now tuning into the stream, my name is Christopher Chase Edmonds with NOLA.com. We're here at the Running of the Bulls 2018 in New Orleans. I'm going to run this, and I want to take you all with me. So if you guys have been through this before, if you guys have uh, done this event, please get in the comments and let me know what I need to expect. This is my first time. I uh, wear my white shirt. I got my red shorts on. A little bit of white and red action. Just trying to stick with the theme. So we're going to try it out. Right now, we're just walking. And it's just one giant party right now. We have been up, we've been hanging out. It's really just an excuse to start drinking at dawn. Nothing wrong with that, right? It's New Orleans, baby. We love it. So yeah, right now we're just kind of walking away from the sugar mill. This is starting at the sugar mill. We're gonna go through downtown, make one big giant loop, and I'm just gonna run for my life. How's that sound to y'all? Does that sound good? Y'all get in the comments, let me know where you're tuning in from. I love seeing uh, where you guys are watching from, what brought you to the stream. And uh, hopefully you guys get to enjoy watching me make a fool of myself in the streets of New Orleans with some of my new friends. This is going to be a good time. I can't wait. Have you grown with the Bulls before? Oh yeah, this is my third year running with the Bulls. Okay, what do I need to know? Because I'm totally new. What do you need to know? Uh, how drunk are you? Not drunk enough. Not drunk enough. See, because that's the major thing. It's like you want to dodge the Bulls, but like I, I literally have scars from like wiping out. Oh, oh so it's man. Just gotta, it's, it's a lot of weaving through, there's slow traffic and then there's fast traffic. Okay. So there's a lot of weaving if you're actually trying to like dodge the bulls. But um, I don't know, just have a good time. That's really all you need to I know. I mean, that, like, that's going to be easy for me. I can't uh, wait. So, so it sounds to me like the streets of New Orleans are my real enemy here. Yeah, oh my god, yes. <laughs> I mean, with everything, I'm but you know. like in daily life. Right, that's right. That's awesome. Right. Um, what about y'all? Have y'all run with the bulls before? Yeah, so can y'all like give me some pointers? Because I'm a total newbie. You have to run. I have to run? You're, you telling, me, to you're telling me I have to run you at running up the bulls. You have, well, a lot of people don't, and that's the mistake. Oh, okay. okay. I see it. So you people have to run and get, and get hit by the roller derby girls. Okay. Otherwise, it's I, no fun. I will be running my butt off. You got it. Yeah. You got you know, to sass them. Will do. Play. That sounds good. Thank you guys for the tips. Of course. Hopefully I'll see y'all out there. Do you want a beer? Do you want an on the road beer? <laughs> I would love a beer, but I'm, unfortunately I'm working, so I can't. Oh, okay. I would love to partake, okay, but... Okay, so that's your second, that's your second error. <laughs> My second error is that... I'm not running and not drinking. I was telling him I'm not drunk enough to really appreciate it, but I'll do my best. I'll do what I can. All right. Well, Thanks, luck. guys. That's your experience. All right, y'all. We are still just now getting started. We're all just kind of making some distance between us and the Bulls. They haven't been released from the bullpen yet. I'm going to show you guys the street back here. That's what it looks like. Downtown New Orleans, here for running of the Bulls. Those of you that are new to this, this is a, this is a big fundraising event. This is the uh, San Fermin celebration here in New Orleans. Um, I'm like going to be checking over my shoulder to see when people really start taking off. But yeah, so this is a big celebration uh, here in New Orleans. Started with a procession this morning, procession and a prayer. We received a blessing, and now we are, you know, we're just honoring the, uh, the traditions of Pamplona, Spain. We're doing it New Orleans style though, so the bulls are not actual bulls, they are roller derby girls. They travel here from all over the country to, part to participate in this. They're decked out, they've got their helmets, totally decorated with horns. Some of them are huge, some of them are very elaborate and detailed. It's so cool to look at, so hopefully, whenever they start coming by, you'll, you'll get a chance. Oh man. Looks, 
Looks like it's about time. All right. People are starting to run. I'm trying to make my decision on when I really want to kick it into gear. Yeah, you guys get in the comments below and let me know if you guys have done this before. I love hearing stories about some of these really cool New Orleans traditions that I'm getting to experience for the first time and bring to y'all. So y'all just let me know if you have any cool stories, if you guys have done this before. I think this is awesome, something really unique to New Orleans, and I can't wait to be a part of it. People are starting to run by me, but but it doesn't look all that urgent. Let me show you guys what's going on in front of me. There's beautiful downtown New Orleans. The sun is just now poking out with the clouds. I'm glad I brought my sunglasses today, it's just nice and bright. The run supposedly started promptly at 8. It is now 8.02. Hey, so what up, dude? Are you doing a live yeah, stream? Yeah, live streaming. You want to be in it? I got, I'm with people right now. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you guys want to be in it? Just for like one second. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so tell me about running of the bulls. Have y'all done it before? Yeah, it's the uh, third time I've done it. Yeah. We've been right, here so, for a couple summers. So, advice for a total newbie. Hey, cheers! Um, just yeah. drink as much as you can, probably. Yeah. 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 This, yeah. this seems to be the yeah. common advice. Yeah. See, she got it. She got it. Yeah. yeah. I've never done it before, first time, but. Looking forward to it? Yep, looking forward to it. Yeah, man, same. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. All right, Keep yeah. on walking with the crowd. Yeah. Fun. Dude, good yeah. to see you. See ya. Hey. What's up? What you doing with that camera? Hey, man, so, <laughs> so I'm Christopher Chase <laughs> Evans with NOLA.com. I'm live streaming right now to our Facebook Word. audience. I yeah, love man. this. This is nice. Do you love it? Yeah, so you done running with the Bulls before? Yes, I did it last year. Awesome. How'd you do? Did you, get, did you get beat up? Um, I actually came with like a torn Achilles. Oh man! And I was so like, you came injured. I so you were on the DL, but you like, still came. Like, I was walking with my leg just like this right here. <laughs> there, <laughs> no. So you you're feel, feeling better this year though, right? Yeah. Good man. Oh, All right, guys. Looks like it has begun. I have my first bull out here. There are more coming. Alright. Now we're Now we're running. This is what Savannah really aggressive. Just gonna work through traffic. That's the hard part. Sarah Sarah's panicked. All right, let me show you guys what's happening in front of me. So yeah, they're rolling around here on their skates. They've got the, they've got the speed advantage, but they're they're whacking me with the plastic bats. And from what I hear, some of them are pretty aggressive with the plastic bats. No, that was a So so like what, what have you seen so far? <laughs> You're saying that was a love tap? That was a love tap. That, that was, that was not, <laughs> I used to have welts on my legs. Like, oh, I, I heard one. I heard one. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, all right, all right, all right. New plan: avoid that at all costs. That uh, that was a solid beating from a plastic pad. That's not what I'm looking to do today. Y'all did get to hear me scream like a like a big strong man though, so that's good. That's good to hear. Once again, guys, if you're just now tuning into the stream, my name is Christopher Chase Edmonds with NOLA.com. I'm here at the Running of the Bulls 2018 in New Orleans. What you're seeing right now is just a big crowd of, uh, of walkers, but they are they are coming at us with plastic bats on roller skates. The Bulls are roller derby girls that are armed with those plastic bats. You'll see if you even come through. So,
some of them, some of them are being gentle. Um, I got chased down already, so if you guys got to see that. If you guys got to see that, I got, a, I got chased down by, by a bull. That, that was something. I think now I'm ready to go to Spain and uh, take on the real bulls. <laughs> like I'm ready. Oh, we've got a chase going on here. All right, let me get in the comments below real quick. Let me see uh, if I can give y'all some shout outs. I want to hear some of your stories. Yeah, so Amy Lou is saying that some of the girls are nice and then some of the others are hitting hard enough to leave marks. Uh, so far from what I've seen, that is absolutely right. Some of them are a little more aggressive than others. Candy Far saying that you just moved here to Nola and you're excited to see all the videos. We love that we bring you stuff like this. I love that you can always tell. You can always tell when uh, when a big one's coming because you just get a wave of people running past you. <laughs> Because uh, that's when you know it's gonna be a good one. I'm like having, so I'm having to watch my camera to see uh, if there's one in screen. I'm basically using this as a rear view mirror. So thank you guys for giving me a reason to have a little advantage here. Whew. All right, I'm ready for the next chase. If someone tries to chase me down again, I am ready. I'm ready for it. All right, y'all. Y'all get in those comments below. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Vanessa Scott Moore saying you should have been out there. Yeah, you absolutely should have been. If you're in town, this is something that's so much fun. You just show up. Make sure you're wearing your white and red so you can fit with the whole theme. Um, and you're good to go. Man, I'm already winded. I'm going to blame it on the humidity, though. I feel like that's the New Orleans thing to do is just say that it's, it's too humid for this. All right, right now we're coming up on Harris. Let me show you guys what's going on in front of me. John Demarest tuning in from the ATL. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Trish Wallace tuning in from Oklahoma. Thank you. Uh, really happy to see y'all tuning in from out of state. That brings me so much joy knowing that you guys get a little slice of New Orleans culture in your day, on your weekend. All right, Laura Goodson had a good question. What is this raising money for? Uh, there are two separate charities. Um, one of them is the uh, is an animal rescue. That's that's a big part of what we're raising money for with this today. Let me show you guys this scene. That's how uh, that's how Florida seems right. It's basically like one big walking, drinking, sometimes running party here in New Orleans, but also sometimes getting chased by roller derby. It's, it's a pretty it's a pretty solid mix. Yeah, so this is, uh, we're, you know, we're just making our way down Poydras, doing our thing. There's a ton of people over there making the turn, and it's kind of bright, so I'll tune the, turn the camera back around for y'all. This is great. See, now I've got room to run, if need be. You guys have already seen me get chased down by one bull. Okay. Looks like we got another one coming. Oh man, I got one coming up behind me. <laughs> so, another problem. I do have a camera, which means I can use it as kind of like a rear view mirror, which is nice. But I'm also kind of a, an easy target for some of the bulls. 
They know, uh, they, they know where to go. That was solid. That was a solid. Oh, okay. Yo, so, someone asked me, did that hurt? That just, Melinda, that just genuinely surprised me. I had no idea that was coming. This guy's new. Run, bitches! Oh, man, we got a chase going on. She's chasing him down. Alright. Yeah, take your rest when you can get it. All right. Oh, thank you guys, Melinda. Nice scream. Thank you. Greg already commented on it. Um, you guys are gonna hear me scream like a big, strong man that I am, uh, because that's what men do. You know, that's how that's how we roll. Got one on my tail. I can't shake him. <laughs> serpentine, serpentine. One horn, that means rangers are returning. <laughs> All right. Just gotta survive, just gotta survive. Get a nice little jog in. See, this is a great workout. I've always needed more motivation to run. This is a great excuse to run. Not getting whacked with a bat. Works for me. People ask me, you know, what's your secret? You know, how do you stay in shape? Well, I just organize a couple hundred roller girls to chase me around with bats three days a week. That's my training regimen. It works pretty well. I should have worn a motherfucking girl on me. All right. So let me give you guys a view of what I'm seeing in front of me. Ooh, wow, that's some speed. All right, Gabriel asking what kind of camera I'm using. I'm actually shooting on an iPhone 6. That way I can do the live stream for y'all. If I was using my regular camera, I wouldn't be able to broadcast it to y'all. Kiara saying that she passed me. Yes, and I'm open for that. Got very lucky with that one. Right, right, she, was coming in, she was coming in with some speed, too. It's the sound of the roller skates that I hear behind me. Uh, I'm starting to get nervous now when I hear that sound. Oh man, that sounded bad. <laughs> oh no, oh no! I heard the sound behind me and I knew it was going to be a bad one. I got you! Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm exhausted. Your boy here needs a drink. Who wants to make me a drink and deliver it to the CBD? Anybody? Y'all get in the comments below. What drink would you make me that I can take as my go drink while I'm running for my life? Who's, who's the best bartender in the comments? Y'all let me know. Oh man, we have a gauntlet. Gauntlet, run the gauntlet! Yeah, run! Oh, let's go! Woo! Alright, 
right, we've made the turn. See, and that's a great part of this too, is even if you're not running in this, you can still have a great time. Everybody's doing their thing. It's great music along the route. Everyone's here just having a good time. I'm gonna pull back and show you guys the crowd in the back. Boswell saying you wish we were there. I wish you were here too. It'd be really nice if I got some friends who could always run behind me. That would be fantastic. That way, that way uh, my posterior would be safe. I would love that. So yeah, come on down. Nicole saying you're adding it to your bucket list. It looks like a blast. This is so much fun. If you guys are doing this and you uh, and you don't have to uh, host a live stream, strongly recommend doing the whole day. They start with a procession at 7:15. The run actually starts at 8. But it's it's this huge thing at the sugar mill that was so much fun. It's all like everyone's decked out in the red and white, as you guys have seen. Like people really get into this. This is a this is essentially another great New Orleans festival. So yeah, people. You know, make your morning drink, whatever that may be. Make sure you put it in a in a cup that you can run with, and then just come. You, you can kind of do it at your own pace. As you guys heard from some of the uh, from some of the comments from some of the people I talked to, you got people who walk, you got people who run, you got people like me that scream like little girls. You know, you just kind of do your own thing, and that's the beauty of it. A big part of it is just checking out all the all the costumes that people are wearing. People really deck themselves out. I've seen so many. Um, like white and red themed Elvis costumes. That to me is amazing. That takes some serious commitment. Oh! Ooh. Mm. That one, uh, that was a solid hit right there. So yeah. A little bit of everything with this. This is so much fun. I'm so glad I got to cover this and bring this to y'all. Uh, I'm gonna get in the comments really quick and see what you guys are saying. Uh, Nicole saying you're also avoiding driving downtown this morning. Uh, yeah, that's pretty smart. The good thing about this is it happens early. You know, this started promptly at 8. The procession started at 7.15, so it only takes up a small area here in the CBD. Um, only like from Poydras to uh, Andrew Higgins, so it's not, it's not too bad. Yes, Red Dress Run is coming up soon. I will be there for that. I cannot wait to bring that one to y'all also. And Angela, oh my goodness, Angela. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see my face right now. Thank you so much for suggesting that you would make me a mint julep, that that would be the drink. That sounds so good. Someone please deliver me a mint julep to the NOLA Media Group office, because I'm coming up on it right now. Let me get back to what I'm seeing here. So yeah, for you guys who are just now tuning in, the, the running of the bulls here in New Orleans, the, our bulls are actually roller derby girls who are running around on skates. What's up? <laughs> They're running around on the roller skates. They've got plastic bats. And uh, it's all just one big festival, one big party. A lot of fundraising going on for multiple charities. It's great. If there were a contest to come in. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. I'm coming to the end of the, uh, of the route. So I'm probably going to end the stream here once I get down to the convention center. But yeah, y'all just let me know. If there's anything particular you have questions about, Terry saying that you enjoy, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I love having all you guys, especially people tuning in from out of state who just want to see a little bit of New Orleans, uh, you know, get a little bit of New Orleans in their weekend. Couldn't avoid that one. There's no getting around it. Laura saying that you're missing home, sending love from the ATL. Thank you so much for sending that love our way. We love sharing stuff like this with y'all. If there's anything else that you guys know in particular about New Orleans that you either you're from here and you miss certain parts of home, or there's certain things that you've heard about that you want to know more, 
feel free to put those in the comments. I'm gonna go back through and read through these since I've been running for most of the stream. Um, I'm gonna go back through and read some of these. So if y'all have other slice of life things that you guys wanna see on the weekends, y'all let me know. I'm your guy, I can bring that to you. So here we are toward the end of the route. I'm gonna turn the camera so you guys can see what's going on here. Some of them, like, yep, toward the end of the route. Oh, the cold beer sounds good. All right, I'm going to move over here and sign off for y'all. Once again, thank you guys so much for joining the stream. My name is Christopher Chase Edmonds with NOLA.com here at Running of the Bulls in New Orleans 2018. This has been a great time. I cannot wait to do this again next year. Next up, Red Dress Run, so y'all be ready for that. I will see you next time.